press menu to access the schedule menu. The schedule menu has the following sub menus. Week, work schedule one, work schedule two. Scroll to week and press menu to enter this function. The days of an entire week are introduced by a letter. Numbers define the robot's work rest days. Zero corresponds to a rest day. One corresponds to a work day. The robot is pre-programmed to work every day in order to get the best cutting results. Adapt the schedule to your needs. For each day, scroll to one or zero with plus and minus per each single day and confirm each entry by pressing menu until the entire week is filled out. In a week programmed as such, the robot works from Monday to Saturday and rests on Sunday. Press menu to access work schedule one. A pre-programmed interval is inserted. Use plus and minus to adapt and menu to confirm the work interval you want the robot to follow. Press menu to access work schedule two. Use plus and minus to adapt and menu to confirm the second work interval you want the robot to follow. If time intervals one and two are wrongly inserted or overlaps, the robot beeps asking for a new insertion of work schedule two. To optimize working schedules one and two for the robot to efficiently take care of your lawn, you should consider Dimensions of your lawn in square meters Complexity and shape of your lawn Type of grass Indicative intervals for medium complexity lawn of average dimensions in square meters are shown in the table that follows. If your lawn is equipped with automatic sprinkler irrigation, remember to plan working schedules for the robot to return to the charging station at least one hour before the irrigation starts. Press menu to access secondary areas. The robot handles one or more secondary areas according to the technical specifications of each specific model. If you decide to divide your garden into primary and secondary areas, you also have to proceed with the programming of secondary areas for the robot to know how to reach them, how much time to spend working in them. Press menu to access the first programming detail of secondary area 1, which is percentage. Press menu to assign a percentage to this area. The percentage indicates a secondary area's dimension and complexity in respect to the entire lawn. Scroll with plus to set the desired percentage. 30% indicates an area which is approximately one third of the dimension and complexity of the entire garden. 50% can indicate an area which is approximately half of the entire garden and with similar complexity to the primary area. However, 50% can also indicate an area which is one third of the dimension of the entire garden but is more complex to cut compared to the primary area because multiple obstacles may be present within it. By assigning a percentage of 50% to secondary area one, the robot will work half the time on the primary and half the time on the secondary area. By assigning a percentage of 30% to secondary area one, the robot will work one third of its working schedules on the secondary area. Press menu when set. Press menu to access distance. Set with plus the approximate distance in meters or feet the robot needs to run on the wire in order to access the secondary area. Then add to this distance the meters or feet the robot needs to run on the wire in order to stop following it and start cutting in a central position of the secondary area. Press menu when set. Press menu to access direction. Use plus to set the clockwise or anti-clockwise direction the robot has to run on the wire to reach the secondary area. Press menu when set. Repeat the same steps to program the work cycles for secondary area two, if it is planned in your garden drawing.
If, for example, a percentage of 30% is assigned to secondary area 1 and 20% to secondary area 2, the robot will work half the time on the primary area and divide the rest of the operating time between the two secondary areas. Scroll now with plus and minus to work mode and press menu to access it. The work mode menu has the following sub-menus automatic, closed area, no border. For the robot to operate according to the pre-programmed working cycles, scroll to automatic and press menu to select this working function. For further details about the working functions closed area and no border, refer to the content extra variants. Your robot is now programmed to work according to the selected criteria. To check that all operations have been properly selected, we suggest running a startup test of the robot in your garden. Position the robot in the middle of the primary area. Press on and wait a few seconds until pause appears. Press start, pause, and let the robot run in your garden and rebound on the wire two or three times. Press charge for the robot to start its return to the charging station when in the proximity of the charging station's backside. Check the correct return and docking to the station. The robot will then wait for the first program working cycle to exit from the station and mow the lawn. When the robot operates for the first time in a secondary area, run an additional test of the robot. Check that the disconnecting point of the robot in the secondary area is central and allows the robot to work properly in it. Press charge while the robot operates in the secondary area to check that it properly finds the way back to the primary area and the charging station. While cutting, the display shows the following data. Left wheel motor speed, blade motor speed, right wheel motor speed, battery voltage. The next working schedule appears on the display when the robot is docked in the charging station waiting for the next cutting cycle. 